Hi, I'm Garvin. This telecast is on femidine tablets. So femidine tablets are a type of hormonal contraceptive, commonly known as the pill or combined oral contraceptive pill. Femidine tablets contain two active ingredients, ethyl estradiol and gestadine. These are synthetic versions of the naturally occurring female sex hormones, estrogen and progesterone. So what is femidine used for? It's used for contraception or preventing pregnancy. Taking the contraceptive pill usually results in lighter, less painful and more regular menstrual bleeding. This means it is also sometimes prescribed for women who have problems with particularly heavy, painful or irregular periods. So how does femidine work? Femidine tablets are a type of hormonal contraception commonly known as the pill, as I said. So femidine tablets contain the two ingredients, the ethyl estradiol and gestadone. And they are the synthetic versions of the female sex hormones. So ethyl estradiol is a synthetic version of estrogen and gestadone is a third generation synthetic form of progesterone. Combined oral contraceptives like femidine work by overriding the normal menstrual cycle. The daily dose of the hormones taken in the pill work mainly by tricking your body into thinking that ovulation has already happened. This prevents an egg from ripening and being released from the ovaries each month. The hormones also increase the thickness of the natural mucus at the neck of the womb, which makes it more difficult for sperm to cross from the vagina into the womb and reach an egg. They also change the quality of the womb lining, the endometrium, making it less likely that a fertilized egg can implant there. So how do I take femidine? Femidine is a monophasic pill. That means that each tablet has the same dose of hormone in it. One tablet is taken every day for 21 days and then you have a seven day break from pill taking. During your seven day break, the levels of the hormones in your blood drop, which results in a withdrawal bleed that is similar to your normal period. You start the next pack after the seven day free days are up, even if you are still bleeding. You should try and take your pill at the same time every day. This will help you remember to take it. Each tablet should be swallowed with a glass of water. They can be taken either with or without food. So when can I start taking it? Ideally, you should start taking this pill on day one of your menstrual cycle, the first day of your period. This will protect you from pregnancy immediately and you won't need to use any additional methods of contraception. So what do you do if you miss a pill? If you forget to take your pill at your usual time, take it as soon as you remember. A missed pill is one that is 24 hours or more late. If you miss a pill, follow the instructions. To one missed pill. If you forget to take one pill or start your new pack one day late, you should take the pill you missed as soon as possible, even if this means taking two pills at the same time. Then continue taking the rest of the pack as normal. You will still be protected against pregnancy and you don't need to use extra contraception. So two or more missed pills. If you forget to take two or more pills or start your new pack two or more days late, you won't be protected against pregnancy. You should take the last pill you missed as soon as possible, even if this means taking two pills at the same time. Leave out the other missed ones. Then continue to take your pills, one every day as normal. You should either not have sex or use an extra barrier method of contraception for the next seven days. If there are fewer than seven pills left in your pack after your last missed pill, you should finish the pack and then start a new pack straight away without a break. So this means skipping your pill-free week. So what if you have vomiting or diarrhea? If you vomit within two hours of taking a pill, it may not have been fully absorbed into your bloodstream. You should take another pill as soon as you feel well enough and take your next pill at your usual time. You should still be protected from pregnancy. However, if vomiting continues for more than 24 hours, this may make your pill less effective. If you have very severe diarrhea for more than 24 hours, this may also make your pill less effective. So the possible side effects of femidine would be nausea and vomiting, abdominal pain, headache and migraine, breast tenderness and enlargement, waist changes, retention of water in the body tissues or fluid retention and vaginal thrush, change in menstrual bleeding in usually lighter periods or sometimes stopping of periods, 
and menstrual spotting or breakthrough bleeding and depression, decreased sex drive and rise in blood pressure. So if you have any questions, you can contact me through the live pharmacist on the website. You can email me or call into Lynch's Pharmacy in Cork. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.